Good morning, grade 7. This is your English teacher, Miss Bisan. How are you guys? I've missed you a lot. Today our lesson is the continuation of the present perfect with indefinite past. We have learned that the present perfect tense is a verb tense used to express actions that occurred at a non-specific time in the past, and that is what we mean by indefinite time in the past. It is also used to express actions that started in the past but continued to the present. Now, example, I have gone to the office. They have gone to the office, and here we didn't specify exactly when did they go to the office in the past. So, we know that the definite, it means a specific, certain, or clear time. But in the present perfect in this lesson, we use the indefinite, and such as, it's not specific, it's not certain, and it's not clear exactly when did they go. For example, they go to the office. Now, the present perfect with adverbs. The repeated actions in the past, you have twice, many times, hardly, ever, rarely, sometimes, often, and you also can say often, guys, usually. Actions that continue to the present, such as always, never. Action happened any time before now. You have ever, you have never. Use ever to ask questions. For example, have you ever gone to the supermarket? Use never in negative answers. I've never gone to the supermarket. Action happened very recently, but still indefinite, still not known exactly when. You use just, lately, recently. Just and recently can be used with the simple past as well. I have just seen the cat. I have already done my homework. She has never spoken Turkish. You notice that just already and never can come between the helping verb and the main verb, and that's the present uh, perfect. I have been in London for two days. He hasn't seen him since last Monday. Have you paid yet? Notice that yet is at the end. Have you ever been to Spitsbergen? Now, word order again, that's lately, twice, many times. You use at the end of the sentence. She has grown old lately. They have climbed Mount Ararat twice. Just always, often, or often, never before verb three, and that verb three means the past participle, guys. The instructor has just introduced present perfect tense. She has often or often asked difficult questions. Recently can be in both places. I hope you understood more about the PowerPoint, guys. Repeat it again so you can be clearer about your information, about any time that you have exercises. You can follow up the thing that you have listened to in the PowerPoint and do the exercises in the FOG grammar book. Thank you guys for your time. I hope you understood from it and wish you luck.